Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Today we're going to talk about speed limits. Whether you are learning to drive or you're an experienced driver, occasionally you may find yourself on a road wondering what is the speed limit on this road. Understanding speed limits is vital as if we go around speeding, we can end up with penalty points on our driving license and a heavy fine. If the matter is taken to court, we can even lose our driving license. Speed limits are there for a reason. They can even take our lives. Let us start off with the basics. The Highway Code says that residential areas, in other words, where there is street lighting, the speed limit is 30 miles an hour if there are no signs. So, I'm going to move off from here and I'm going to go for a short drive. I'm looking around. I don't see any signs at all. But... I do see a lamppost in front of me. In fact, I can see several lampposts in front of me. Therefore, I must assume that it's 30 miles per hour. So I'm going to go for a short drive and I'm going to see if I can identify the speed limits of a particular road. So we're driving along and we know that this road is 30 miles per hour. I'm going to be turning right into the next road. Now I'm looking for signs in this road and I don't see any signage at all. So what would the speed limit on this road be? Well, again, there's a, a lamppost there and another couple on this side. So once again, this road is 30 miles per hour. I'm going to be turning left at the end of this road. Now, again, there are no signs. So it's a continuation of the previous road. So it's still 30 miles an hour. I'm now coming to the main road here. So I'm on another road here. Once again, I've identified it's 30 miles an hour due to the street lighting on both sides of the road. However, I can see in the distance here a school sign which says 20 miles per hour when the lights show. The lights are currently not showing. So at the moment it's 30 miles per hour. But when the school times are starting and when the school times are finishing the light will start flashing and it becomes 20 miles per hour that 20 miles per hour is not a legal speed limit it is an advisory speed limit because anything in a red circle is compulsory by law so by law, the speed limit on the previous road was 30 miles per hour. And it is still 30 miles per hour, even if the lights are flashing. Although it's advisable to go 20 or less. Now, this doesn't mean that you can speed down at 30 miles an hour thinking, so what? The law says I can do 30. I can't be prosecuted for speeding. 
true. You cannot be prosecuted for speeding on that road if you're driving at 30 miles per hour. However, you can be prosecuted for driving without due care and attention, which is a lot worse than speeding. So, once again, I'm on a 30 mile an hour road. It's a residential area and I've got street lighting on both sides. However, I can see a sign in the distance which says 20 miles per hour. Now, it doesn't just say 20 miles per hour, it actually says zone. So I've entered into a 20 mile an hour area. These are quite common these days and um, they seem to be getting more and more popular. In, um, in Wales, the, uh, the Welsh Assembly just a few days ago voted to make the whole of Wales a 20 mile an hour zone. Now, this is quite new. Uh, so even though the highway code states that in the absence of road signs, it's 30 miles per hour. In Wales, very soon, is going to be 20 miles per hour in the absence of road signs. So I'm back into the 30 mile an hour zone. However, in the distance, I can see a national speed limit sign. The white circle with the black diagonal strip. The national speed limit is different for different types of vehicles. For a car, the national speed limit is 60 miles an hour on a single carriageway. So for me, it will be 60 miles per hour on this road. However, the national speed limit is 70 miles an hour on motorways and on dual carriageways. As I said, that's for a car. It's different for different vehicles. Now, the speed is dropping, so I need to ensure that my speed gets to 40 miles per hour or less before I reach that point not so I don't want to start braking once I get to the sign I need to get make, make sure my speed is at the new speed limit before I get to the sign now I'm driving along a 40 mile an hour road however I can see the 30 sign in the distance so I need to make sure that my speed is at or below 30 before I get there. <clears throat> and also, straight after the speed is dropped, there's a speed camera here. So <clears throat> it's an easy way to lose your license. Now I'm driving along this road, however my sat nav for some reason is showing that it's a 60 mile per hour road but I don't believe the sand nav because I can see a sign for a school and more importantly there is street lighting on both sides <laughs> in fact I've just noticed there's a police vehicle there with a camera a, a speeding camera So, it just shows, do not trust the sat-nav. The sat-nav is there to get you from A to B. 
is not there to tell you what the speed limit is. You have to decide on the speed limit. Now, I find myself on this road, but I don't see any speed signs. There's a small possibility that I could have missed a sign back there as I entered the road. So I should assume it's 30 miles an hour. And I, but I'm looking out at the same time for lampposts, street lighting, any other road signs, and I don't see any. So I'm going to keep my speed at 30 for a bit longer and I still don't see any signs. So in that case, I need to assume that the speed limit is 60 miles per hour. The highway code states that in the absence of street lighting, the national speed limit applies. The national speed limit as I said earlier, for a single carriageway is 60 miles an hour for a motor car. Please bear in mind, it is different for different types of vehicles. Now, furthermore, although it's 60 miles an hour on this road, I haven't been able to drive more than 35, 40. The reason for that is because I cannot see far enough. More important than the speed limit is being able to stop within the distance that you can see to be clear. So when you can see further down the road, you can go faster. As you see less, you slow down. Now, at the moment, we're on the motorway so the national speed limit is 70 miles per hour. However, I've just seen a sign here which says 50 maximum. Now, the 50 sign was in a red circle so that overrules overwrites the national speed limit so by law the speed limit on this motorway at the moment is 50 miles per hour this is the m25 which has stretches of variable speed limit. So the national speed limit is 70 miles an hour, but they can vary the speed limit depending on the amount of traffic there is. Occasionally, we will get the signs in a rectangle which says 50 miles an hour. Those, those will be advisory. So if the 50 mile an hour sign is in a rectangle, then it is advisable to drive at 50. But as on this road, the 50 miles an hour sign was in a red circle, by law, we cannot go over 50. Once again, I must emphasize that if the speed limit is advisable to drive at 50 and you drive up to 70 miles an hour and then are involved in an accident, you can be prosecuted for driving without due care or intention or even dangerous driving. So please do not think that if the speed limit is advisable that you don't have to do it. All it means is that you cannot be prosecuted for speeding, but you can be prosecuted for other offences 
which can be far worse. I hope you found this video beneficial. If you have, you know what to do. Please give the thumbs up and do share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.